Uh, time for us to bring it back to the kitchen, some kitchen inspiration. If you're looking for something hearty and delicious to make for Mother's Day lunch, you've come to the right place. We're making the ultimate veggie lasagna, which is brimming with tasty flavors, and it's all about slow cooking at its best. Honestly, my Chef Clem is here in the house to show us how it's done. Chef Clem, good morning. How are you? I'm well, thank you. And you? I am so good, so excited good. to cook this dish. I love what you've brought along here. It's colorful, right? It's Moms will be beautiful. very proud. We're eating our veggies. Yeah. And the thing is, we're not compromising on flavor. You're not going to miss the meat. This one is so delicious. Yeah. But there's a few tricks to kind of bump up the flavor and get the maximum, mm. like, capabilities Richness. and flavors out of your veggies. Well, mommy has mm? been saying, eat your veggies for all these years. Right. It's now time to feed mommy the veggies. Right. All sorts of them as well. Listen, while we're making this and you want to be part of the action, go on to Woolworths.co.za if you want the recipe. It's on there with all of the ingredients we, you're going to need for it. Chef Clem, let's get going. Okay, cool. So the first thing we're going to do is start in our brinjal. Okay. And I took the top off. Nice. And we're going to cut like nice little steaks out of it. Oh, oh there we go. There we go. Mm. Nice steaks out of it. And we want to keep it nice and chunky. You don't want your veggies to be like too thin because then it's going to mm. disintegrate and cook away. You want to know what you're eating. So that's a very good size. You see what I'm saying? Like that's a steak. That's a nice thick one. So get that's that in. prime. Prime. Prime, 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 rib. prime brinjal steak. I like it, I like it. Okay. <laughs> then for your sweet peppers, and I absolutely love sweet peppers. Mm -hmm. They are so delicious. All you want to do is, you see the little green button on top there? Yes. Put your thumb on it, and you pop it in. Oh, wow. There we go. Then that goes inside. All you're going to do then is slice then it open. Slice it open, yeah. Unravel it. There's your little core that you've taken out. And just give it a little tap. That just cuts just, just so on, much just, time just, off. Just on the floor. It tap time. it out on the floor. All of it. No, just joking, I've, got a, a I've got a bend down there. Bend, yeah. no, okay. <laughs> so then get that into the bowl as well. Yeah. Your courgettes, simplest thing. And these are so delicious as well. People don't cook enough courgettes. And I think it's because they don't know how. But you also don't know how to bring them to life, right? You're like, mm, got okay, you. once I've cooked it, then I'm, what am I going to add to it? How do I uh, add some flavor? Got it's, you. it's a tricky one, yeah. Top and tail off. Again, yeah. keep it nice and chunky. Okay. So just into three chunky slices. Mm -hmm. Get it into your bowl. So now you've got your brinjal, you've got your baby marrow, you've got your sweet pepper, a little bit of salt. Actually, olive oil and salt. Olive oil mm -hmm. first, so the salt will stick to it. Okay. There we go. I missed some salt. Bad luck, it was just... <laughs> you also. It's for good luck, right? It's for luck. There we go. Luck, so, for luck. love it. You're going to have the most amazing the, luck today. The weekend stuff. Mm. A nice, <laughs> the weekend <laughs> cleansing stuff. All of Can the I get weekend. a little kilogram of salt, please? <laughs> the beast is trying to rebuke the weekend Just stuff. Cleansing, cleansing. Uh, okay. Let's go. I'll do a nice hot griddle pan. Yeah. We're going to get it nice and charry. This is where the flavor's going to come out. And brinjal, brinjal and baby marrow, yeah. they get very smoky when you get them on like a nice griddle pan. But do and, they not have like a lot of water? Because I worry about then, does it not become soggy? Like, how do you stop that? Like, is there, um, how do you, uh, what's the process? Nice high heat, okay? You're okay. Gonna see, it's like a steak. Okay. So when it goes down, you leave it, let it get that little char in it, and oh. you want that. That's the most important thing. When you get that char, you seal it like you seal a steak. The moisture's not going to go anywhere. It's going to stay inside the veggies. going to retain it. I like that. Okay, okay cool. cool. Next thing. I've taken some cherry tomatoes, mm -hmm. garlic, which I've sliced, not chopped. Want to be a little different. Okay. Okay? And then some sun-dried tomatoes, and these are actually extremely sweet. They're so delicious. Mm. And olive oil. Cooked it together. I love sun-dried tomatoes. Beautiful little country. You don't have to do this part. You can just lay it all in. Okay. But it's just nice to have this. And I actually keep this as on a, in a jar, in the fridge, ready That's to go. The thing. You can also yeah. have it with all sorts of other things later on as well. That's the versatility of this dish that we're making. This, uh, this just get a little... Lasagna, lasagna is all about the layering, okay? So you mm. get that sauce down first. Now come the veggies. Okay. See how beautiful and smoky and charred yeah. that brinjal is? Oh, yes, get that down good. into your dish. Mm -hmm. If you want to make it like even more hot here, lentils, best friend. Get lentils in there. Oh, my mom. Oh, my mom and my, not my mom in law. <laughs> ah. <laughs> not that, sorry, not yet. Can I please uh, get a chair? There's a conversation I'd like no, to have no, in the no, kitchen. No, 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 I'm not there at your zone yet, Chef Kim, but my, my stepmom, yes. who's my mom, right? Of course. Um, she loves lentils. Loves lentils and she's we'll going to love this lentils one. into anything and everything. Good for her. Good for her. Good for her. I'll be feeding her. you lentils for Mother's Day. Be on standby, auntie. 
Don't give her lentils for Mother's Day. <laughs> well, they'll don't... be part of the mix, right? But I mean, don't give her a, a can of lentils for Mother's Day. You can give me, a, for my birthday, some lentils. I mean, I, I like lentils, but I mean, <laughs> give your stepmom something else, something nicer. No, but throw them into the lasagna mix, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken these lasagna sheets, yeah. and I just pre-cooked them a little bit just to get them nice and soft, and they fit perfectly. I didn't even plan that. Wow. They just fit perfectly. Now, my hack for Monday. Okay, I want to see this. Bechamel sauce, and it's made with real cream. These are the things that you do to create like feastable dishes, mm. but just, you make it more convenient. So you're not spending hours in the kitchen, wow, it's right? It's made with fresh cream. That's, re that's really the thing that makes it really that's special, the thing. right? So you're not sacrificing on the flavor, the Willie's no, quality. It's the in quality. the bag. Yeah. Okay, What's cool. in the bag? That's a really good question. Some real cheese. Real cheese. Real, I mean, cheese real cream, in cream is in there. Okay, cool. That's down. Give it a good little spray. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, you see that? It turned into a little heart. I didn't even plan that. Tubsy? Oh, come on. You're going to take this one to your, you take this one to your step, Mom, eh? Done. Well, no, Mother's Day is still a while. But I suppose you can put it in the fridge for you a while. You can freeze right? it. The Thank you for that about one. This. Once you layer everything, you can actually yeah. freeze the whole dish and then take it out, let it thaw, and then you're good to go. Then pop it in the oven and you're happy. You're winning. Okay, Ooh. more of the sauce goes on, more of those veggies. It's so, so good. It looks so good. It looks so rich and just so scrumptious it already is. before it's even it done. Is. I love this. And listen, it's going to be a mummy pleaser of note. And you want to make sure that you make this for your mum. And if you do, go onto the website, uh, not Express or Show, rather, Woolworths. .co.za. It's Woolworths.co.za. It's there. All the ingredients you're going to need, they've loaded them there, as well as a step-by-step -step guide of how to bring it all together. Some Ooh. Picorino yes. Romano. Ah, oh, my favorite. Okay. A little sharper than Parmesan cheese and a couple yeah. little shavings. Just crumble it over the top. And it'll melt nicely. Oh, beautifully. Ooh, can beautifully. You imagine that? It goes into the oven and it comes Ooh. out smelling so delicious. That's where the smell is coming from. Look at what the final product looks like, guys. I mean, this is so, so impressive. Right? Wow. Tubs, Are you going to cut it for me? I feel like you, I knew you were about to ask, so let's just uh, do this. Uh, wow, this is so good. It smells really good. I love how the cheese has set nicely on top of everything there. I'm going nice to take little... this out the way here so I can get a nice little base. Mm. Tubsy? Yeah? This is the one, okay? This is a love meal. It's a love dish of note. Making sure I got everything in this little mm -hmm. piece that you're going to get now. Ah, love dish. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one? It says home. It says warmth. It says love. All of those things. Tell right? me if you, if you miss the meat at all when you try this, okay? Okay, cool. Because you're not going to. Okay, that's a, that's a, that's a TV-sized portion. Mm. Okay, let's get in there. Mm. I'm gonna make sure I get everything in. Tubs and how long would this take to prepare? Half an hour. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everything's cooked already, so you just want to warm it through. I'm just gonna say to the viewers at home, Tubsy's only quiet in studio when he's eating. So if we mm. ever don't hear Tubsy, he's eating. Mm. We know this. We know this. Tubsy, are you we winning? You know what I forgot to mention? What? It's so deliciously crunchy as well. That's the thing about lasagna. The crunch is so good. Coming together with our tomato sauce that you made. Mmm. Ah. Oh, my mm. goodness. Yes. Ah. Are you going to be sharing with anyone in studio? Yeah, Graham can share. Okay, Graham. Mm -hmm. oh. no. Graham. And Jamie. Oh. And Ryle. You missed any other steps here. This is so delicious. Any other steps here? You missed them? Watch this, all right? Until you're going to get a plate. Hmm?